well, well. All right. This is another season of Ghana's most beautiful. In fact, this is season nine, season one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight have passed. It's been incredible. It's been wonderful. And this promises to be another thriller. Put your hands together wherever you are. Indeed, I have seen the beautiful women all the way down there in Ho. Uh, they bought a regional capital and they were fantastic. They were stupendous. They were, I don't know what else to say. But it is up to you to judge. And this is the time for you to judge. This is Ghana's most beautiful. And I'm proud to be part of it. And I believe you are proud to be part of it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's about time for me to introduce our judges to you. Even before we go for the break. And his name is Ghana Man. That's what people know him. Huh? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Our judge, usual judge, Mr. David Dutton, please put your hands together for him. Of course, my beautiful Linda. Good to have you, Linda. Please put your hands together for her. The power is in your hands. The judges are here to criticize, to shape the ladies into performing, but you have the right to take them on to the next stage. Ladies and gentlemen, when we come back, I'll be introducing to you our contestants for this season of Ghana's Most Beautiful. We'll be right back. Please stay. Yes, we're back in the studio. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Ghana's Most Beautiful Season 9, and my name is Gideon Ayukwe. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to introduce to you our contestants for today. And starting from the Central Region, Let us welcome AC My name is Esaba Kasikafo. Me ya abrazadeshi. Or dandam brana menim de gua dashi. I represent the small London of Africa, the central region. We are located at the southern part of Ghana. Cape Coast is our capital. And it was the seat of the British colonial government up until 1877 when the seat was moved to Greater Accra. There are several people who see the seventh. Or Sabai Makwesia the second. Nana Meyaba the first. Nane Kwabochi the fifth. Nana Nom Michiahom. It is quite unbelievable that some people think the central region is only made up of fantasies. But my region constitutes five different ethnic groups. We have the powerful and fearful Dentura. Adawu Dentura Maya Yedisi Katon Prada. Yen Yen Yedisi Kadi Achiswo. Ode for Buan Ponsem. Nana, Unkwasu. We have the Guans, Dasen, Bremen, 
and the Fantis. I'm a proud Fanti from Ogwa Akoto. History has it that we, the Fanti, separated from our Santi brothers at Krakow, present day Techiman. This gave us the name Fanti, or Yefa Ato, meaning the half that left. We were led by three great warriors Osun, Obunumankuma, and Odapejan. The soil of my region has been fruitful enough to produce so many astute Ghanaians. Indian President, the late President, John Evans Atamels, His Excellency, the Vice President of the Republic of Ghana, Parkwesi Bequin Emisa Atta. If for Sutherland, Amateidu, Professor Alute, and our own Ghana man, David Donto. Are you fancy? When it comes to natural resources, we have gold, there are bauxite, timber, cassava plantation, citrus fruit plantation, where Buhen Dumpo. Do you know Ghana discovered its first oil deposit in Salt Pond? In you, a chin for briefly salt wonder. Won't pay in our power, Fellow Ghanaians, if you want to explore a culture that has its root in another era, or you want to experience the link between Africa, America, and Europe, then the central region, my region cannot be missed. As the saying goes, if the center doesn't hold, the rest will fall apart. In the morning, central for. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, all protocol observed. Thank you for your audience. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so you've seen the very, very first contestant coming from the central region. AC is her name, and her designer is Kweku Boateng. Indeed, beads and accessories provided by Wendy Latizan. Okay, let's, uh, let's hear from our judges. Linda, what do you think? AC, congratulations. I think your entry was very nice. Um, you came in very graceful, very queenly, and it was beautiful. Um, your slight apatampa move, I thought, was super. Um, you gave us a bit of history, tourism. I think you basically touched on everything, and I thought the final unity message was fantastic. Congratulations. Wow, some favorable comments coming from Linda. <laughs> Thank you very much, Lacey. Thank you so very much. 1740 is a short code, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, AC is the name. E S I. Text to 1740 uh, and make sure that she stays in the competition. It's going to get keener and keener. Indeed, our judges have been very favorable to her. Who is our next contestant coming from the Great Accra region? Let us welcome Kai. <laughs> Patrick Bellacuacaba, what thing? I long take Dinko, a cup of what thing? 
kaji wana yoga hong mene wana leke abifao ya ekoto sewo ni me na me nene me nana me gadang bebi onu pali na ekpe shiebie ke gana mabi fe mi banye de omanye Nene Abram, Kabu Akuaku the third, president of the Greater Accra Regional House of Chiefs. Nitata Otu the second, the paramount chief of Boom, my hometown. King Odaifia Walenchi the third, the paramount chief of Nungwa, the only rich city. I greet you all. I tell me, manye apenye afia nakai tete. Akpenye Afia is my name because I hail from Pum. And Nakai because I'm the third female born to my parents. Tete is my proud surname. Greater Accra is the smallest region amongst all the other regions in Ghana. Yet, we are the capital. We are the gateway to Ghana. Without us, you, you, you and you can never come to Ghana. We are endowed when it comes to we are endowed when it comes to cultural. We do our Panlogo dance, the Adowa, and many others. Adowa is mostly performed by the people of Ashanti, but as cultural practices, we do it to have fun. Adia jino konu wagame wakeshe kaje wate wongomi alowa yahu. No wa ba wa wa ho akon no no wa pa pa poshita ka mo no wa to ashin ate nwo no wa chole adanwo e wa ke fata e no wa po ke wa gbona wa ta osun kena dide ba e nwole muwe alochukwe ke fata e no wa ji o as a region we can never be left out when it comes to the development of Ghana we are because we are Maskumo Nike in Yemo, our beer, Shimo, Tamabane, what you are done, Ake, money for money called your papa, lay is a chio, Ika Heshiba, me paga dang the beef fair fire, Yaka Hewale, Eko Mefemo, Ka Oshiki phone, and Yanse. But not for that country, ne. But no one buy me fair. Eba shwe wa hiye shwe shwe shwe. Cha, ni manje wulu abla o. Okay. So that's Kai from the Great Accra region. Uh, and the day. Uh, this is what we call stage fright. Um, you, your speech now became halting, halting, stopping and going, and stopping and going. But uh, that aside, I think um, your dressing your movement and um, your mixture of the ga with the english to explain uh, the greater Accra region uh, was quite well done except that a bit of information was missing but on the whole you've done well because this is your very first time i pardon you you've done well fantastic encouragement coming from uncle david donto Okay, from the Greater Accra region, we're moving on all the way to the Upper East region. And let us welcome Azure. Please, when I greet your Toma Toma, you respond now. Your Toma Toma. I bring you greetings. 
from the good and wonderful people of my region. Need I say more? Because after all these attributes, I know and you know that I'm referring to no other land than the beautiful Upper East region. <laughs> Greetings from the Paramount Chief of Sakutu traditional area, Naba Sigiri Biwung. Zugura, the overlord of Boku traditional area, Naba Asigiri Abugodago Azoka, the second. Here I am, a proud daughter of the land and the queen mother, Puanab Azuri. The Upper East region where I come from is located at the northeastern part of the country. It's divided into 13 districts with ethnic groups like Talisi, Kosasi, Kasina, Gurini. My dear audience, do you know that there is no ethnic group in the Upper East region known as Fafari? In the Upper East region, we have the Gurini language, but Fafari, you people know it as Frafres. It's known as Farafara. Farafara is a greeting in the Gurini language. My people are very hardworking, industrious, and most of all, very humble. Our main occupations are Farming, rearing of livestock, leatherworks, basketry, poultry, and the production of shea butter. For a beautiful, glowing, and shiny skin just like mine, I urge you all to please patronize our rich, natural shea butter. Our favorite delicacies are kunkore, gingilima, sabula bitu zero, sabo commonly known as TZ with bitu zero. Bitter soup, garnished with our precious bird, the guinea fowl, known by you, the soundness, as are confirmed, and spiced with our special dawa dawa. You, you, and you cannot afford to miss the health benefits of dawa dawa. Dawa dawa help promote good eyesight and prevent diseases such as stroke and hypertension. When it comes to tourism, my region has the greatest story side you could ever imagine. Kulungungu bomb site in Boku is one of the greatest story sites in the whole country. It is the place where an attempt was made on the life of the first president of the country, Osajifu Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. Now, onto some mystery. The whistling rock of Tongu. Yes, it whistles just like that. How many of you have seen a rock whistle before? Come to the Upper East region. It is there you will find the rock that whistles. This is what makes my region unique from all the other regions. Now take a ride with me on the back of the crocodile, the crocodile to Paga Crocodile Pond, the only place where you will find crocodiles living in harmony with human beings. Garu Timpani, the district of my regional minister, Honorable James Tiga Zoga, the only place, not only in Upper East Region, but in the whole country, where you will find the visually impaired persons cultivating their own crops. Are you amazed? You do not need to be, because we, the people of Upper East Region, are capable of doing everything. We celebrate a lot of colorful festivals, but just a few are known, such as the Fiok Festival, celebrated by Bulses, Salmon Pid by Kosasis, Adakoya by we, the Gurusis. But let me introduce to you Nabayeska. My lovely audience, please say Nabayeska. Nabayeska. Thank you. Nabayeska is a festival celebrated by the people of Sirgu for the adoration of their chiefs. During these festivals, we display our products such as our beautiful woven cloths, our leather sandals, and our beautiful woven baskets. These baskets does not only attract the eyes of Ghanaians, but the whole world. These baskets are what we, the women of Upper East Region, use as shopping bags to the market to patronize some of our products such as millet, granite, guinea corn, to mention but just a few. During our festivals, we also perform our beautiful dances such as Nagala, Bula, Yono, and Pohone. Pohone is a dance where we swing our hands and stamp our feet on the ground with energy. This is to tell you that we, the people of Upper East Region, are very energetic and strong. 
Just brace up your souls for the weeks ahead. Because I, poor Anab Azure, will make you wish that you came from the Upper East region. Junaya Akili, thank you. All right. Linda? Azuri, I, I, I agree with David. And I think your education on, is it Fari Fari? Farah, Farah. Farah, Farah. Yes, please. That's, that was it's... quite educative. <laughs> I have learned. I think you did well. You also got your audience um, involved, and that helps to stick in our memories. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, so um, and that's Azure, and uh, the short code is 1740. Please uh, keep her in the house by texting to her name. And let me remind you that we're listening to our ladies telling us what they know about their regions. Our judges are gathering it up. At the end of the day, they will tell us who was most eloquent. Who was most eloquent. We're going to listen to that after the event. Please stay. We'll be right back. Okay, welcome back, good people. This is Ghana's most beautiful indeed. We have seen our ladies, they are coming and uh, they keep coming. Let me please invite from the Volta region, Fafa! Shikabli, the third. Mama Mashiagedi, the second. Mama Atrato, the second. Togbi Afeda, the 14th. Volta Regional House of Chiefs, the president. Manyi Banami. Ankonyenye Fafa. Macho Chiyama. My name is Fafa, which simply means peace. For this reason do I bring you peaceful greetings from the land of my birth. The land filled with great and beautiful history and above all mesmerizing culture. Ladies and gentlemen, I humbly introduce the Volta region. The Volta region is located on the southeastern part of Ghana. It is bordered to the east by the Republic of Togo. The west by the river Volta, the south by the Gulf of Guinea, and shares a border with the northern region on the north. The Volta region is a land of extremely beautiful and hardworking women like myself, as well as able and strong men who are predominantly fisher folks and farmers. Upon a successful farm season, the people of Asogli celebrate the Yam Festival. Other festivals that attract tourists include the Hogba Chochoza, which is celebrated on the first Saturday of November each year by the Anglos to commemorate the exodus from Noche. The people of Adaklu also celebrate the Glimototoza for the same purpose. Two weeks, two weeks after the Hogba Chochoza, the cousins of the Anglos, the Soma Ewes, also celebrate the Soma Tutuza, which is celebrated to pay homage to their paramount chief, as well as renew allegiances. During these festivals, you hear Aza O Aza. That is where we move our feet and shake our waist to the beats of Bobobo, as well as beautifully arc our arms as we strike them back and forth to the beats of Agbaja. I am a brave and skillful woman, not only because 
My ancestors are the only ones who migrated to their current location walking backwards, but also because I trace my ancestry to the great Togbi Charlie, whose name means the ancient lives on, a Chagali. He is believed to be the twin of the great Okonfuanoche. He is also believed to have aided in the migration of my people to their current location. This he did by consulting the gods through Afa, which means health, a divination system that explains man's partial knowledge. That is to say, we know what happened yesterday or even a moment ago, but never can we tell what is to become of tomorrow. To find this out, we need to consult the Afa. This Togbi Charlie did and was led to the current location of the Anglos. There, he found an evil spirit hovering around. He ordered the spirit to quell under his authority in Anglo. Nglo, that's the name Anglo for the Anglos. The second group who settled along the river, as their name denotes, are the Tongs. The third group are the Vedomes. Yes, they settled between the tongues and the anglos. Isn't that interesting? Stick and stay with me, Fafa, as I unfold the great history and rich culture of the people of the Volta region in the weeks ahead. God bless the Volta region. God bless Ghana. Thank you. Linda, this is Fafa for you. Hello, Fafa. Hello, I thought you looked a bit nervous when you were coming in. <laughs> but your confidence came in the middle of your presentation. And I hope that you will carry that. You have the whole of Walter Region backing you. I saw that when we, when we came there last Sunday. So please, have confidence. Yes. I know you can do better. You know, but um, I think your presentation was good. Um, the history, the tourism aspect, and everything was well put together. You did well, but please be confident because it makes a difference, really. Congratulations. Congratulations, Fafa. 1740 FAFA. Text to 1740. Thank you so very much. Ladies and gentlemen, moving from the Volta region, we're going on all the way to the Upper West region. Let us welcome. Nima! I hailed from the Upper West region, with Wabi being my largest city. In 1983, former President Flight Lieutenant Jerry John Rollins separated us from the Upper West region for easy governance. My region has great and prominent chiefs, Koro Bukutuliman from Tumu, Koro Tawara from Hiato, Irise. My region covers a geographical area of approximately 18,478 kilometers square. It is located in the Guinea Savannah vegetation belt. The vegetation consists of scattered draft resistant trees such as Sher, Baobab, locust bean tree, popularly known as Dawa Dawa. Sher tree produces fruits, which can be used for cooking, applied as body lotion, and hair creams. Dawa Dawa can be used for cooking soup and stew. My lovely women here, you all agree with me that a way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Why then do you concentrate on artificial spices when you can just add a pinch of Dawa Dawa to make a difference? I recommend it to you. 
the stable food of my people is coal with zokodese. Coal. Coal. It's popularly known as Tuozafi or Tizet. And zokodese. It's a special soup made with bean leaves. The beautiful Wana's Palace. The Wenchi Hippopotamus Sanctuary. The Nagore Mocks are some of the tourist sites in my region. The notable festivals include the Palagbiele Festival, celebrated by the Sasalas, the Jamba by the Wallace, and the Kobine by the Dagabets. We dance to the rhythm of the xylophone, Janga, Zentime, and Bewa. If you love adventure and you want to explore, Come to the peaceful Upper West region, and you will never waste time and resources. Malolo, ya baruka jaja. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so very much. Uh, of course, uh, this is Nima from the Upper West region. Uncle Dave, what do you think? Yeah, Nima. Uh, they say Nima means beautiful city. Um. I guess you are a slow speaker, but um, in situations like this, forget about your slowness. I guess you also, um, in spite of the slowness, was able to uh, outline the good geography of your region, its history, a bit of it, um, the demographics, some statistics were all there. Did I hear you say the Wenchi? Hippo Sanctuary. I think it's Wechiao. Wechiao. Is that actually at uh, Wechiao? Um, you also uh, managed to uh, portray uh, various uh, sociocultural aspects of the region regarding food you eat and dwelt you know, quite a bit on the Dawadawa, which is so good and so healthy for people to promoting your region. I think um, you did well, but you know, just make sure that you pep up your language, pep up your speech, lift it, so that um, people can really grow with you in confidence. Congratulations. Thank you, judges. Thank you, Nima. Fair Lady Collections is a designer. 1740 is a short code. Indeed, Nima is the name. Just text it and make sure she stays in the competition. This is only introductory. Uh -huh. The competition is yet to progress. Of course, we're moving to the Bunu Ahafo region. Ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome AMA Ama. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, Nananum, distinguished judges, viewers at home, ladies and gentlemen, Befrem Ama Adoma, and I represent the second largest region, the most beautiful region, yet one of the most undiscovered regions in Ghana, the Bunu Ahafo region. One might ask, why did I greet in three different languages? This is because the Bunu Ahafu region where I am from is made up of a multiplicity of cultures which make up the region. We are made up of the Bunu and the Ahafus. The Bunus were the first to emerge in the region. They are the mother of all the other Akan groups. Bunu Fuabefri Bunu Munebae, Babayanu, Bawu Asante, Achim, Ekiapim, Nkuro ahu robe bre Benny edikan fuo wa akan maimu. The second to follow were the Ahafos. The Ahafos were hunters. They came from the Asante kingdom to my region because they wanted to hunt for meat for the Asante hene. Aha in my language means hunter. 
when they came, the people said, Hey, aha for Nabo, aha for Nabo, and I bet aha for. Now, let me take you to a beautiful historical journey to my region. I don't know who that dear cook of in Sia Abebio. Bunu champim de Diaqua, or Sia dear yo, a Jimmy Bedu the second. Nana yats in Kwama. Nana efia educhu mwa de second. And you may a him fo ni a hima me chiamwa hu brasiem. Yes, the Buna Hafu region is a wonderful region. When it comes to personalities, look no further but my region. We produce wonderful and great men and women in this country. Let's look at the first lady of the Republic of Ghana, Madame Lordina Mahama. Obeni monyamfu, nechini nenim, obieni ho, Madame Enyumre Michiao. Let us go to the former Electoral Commissioner of Ghana, Dr. Kwejo Aferijan. The unbreakable, the unbeatable is from my region. Yeni na yeni mse. Ghana for you need to ball over who pa? Why now? Why are you in the World Cup now? Say you are in the World Cup now. Now we need say senior national team black stars now. A mufa every me me region. And to say half of all you need bring now. Now see I can say you are a player sir. I was saying who say World Cup now? Any idea you be Kobe? Bema or CPA sita? Ninche mu ni ninche mu? Obi ani ho? Bema ni hu ni? I to say a jata one year ni si. Kevin Prince Boateng is from my region. But onu baku mi suka hu, onu kwa di ame friendu multi talented because odi yamba ko asumjem na wasadi yaba. Bema oba bebo penalty ya insu emu na kra ebeti. Oyi a wasako she studio no abonyom baku no no. Baby Jet is from my region. When we come into, ya wa a free year aqua, ya wa a free year aqua, and the host. Of others, Aquasia Pia, all of these are from my region. Ah, a radi and shra bunufua, Anka Eja Wen, a radi and shra a hafufua, Anka Sika Koko a Wen, Behaminsa, Minanima for the yes and Yama Fami Huya, Utumi who say yes, me as soon any bar, as soon as for a muafe for, as soon as for ye a tico, Tisa Obienim, as soon as for a ye prequa, as soon as for a muafe for, yes. As soon as for yeah, no, no. I am calling all Ghanaians to join me, Ama Adoma, as I take you through a beautiful historical journey to the most beautiful region in Ghana, yet and sadly one of the most undiscovered by people, the Buno Ahafu region. For the 13 weeks, I promise you nothing but the best. But remember to vote AMA to the magic number 1740 on all networks. Bono man, Ahafu man, yeyeni poba kuo, onyamene hene, me damuasi. Wow, wow. <laughs> okay, let me hand you over to Linda. Yeah, ma, I know what to papa. In fact, I admire your conf- I do admire your confidence. It's Thank it's you. it's a pleasure to watch you. Thank you. And you were into the part, you know. You seemed to enjoy what you were doing. You knew your stuff, so it was a pleasure to watch you. <laughs> I do congratulate you. Um, the advert you did for your polytechnics, I thought that was very good. <laughs> the football players, in fact, I didn't know that. Um, your music that you wove into it, the dance, I thought everything was super. Um, I, I'm appealing to the people in the Brown half reading to vote, you know, because over the years we haven't seen a lot of their contestants go very far. And it would be nice to hear more from you um, for the 13 weeks. And I, I appeal to them to vote. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank well you. done. Congratulations coming from Linda. I'm, uh, to the short code 1740. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going for a short commercial break. When we come back, I introduce to you the last batch. Please stay with us. Okay, good people, welcome to Ghana's most beautiful season nine. TV3's presentation right here in Studio B. 
Of course, I'd like to say thank you to Camel Antiseptic and Beatable Gem Protection, Sasso Insecticide Spray and Coil, Kumin Tuntum Prekum, DJ Cola Taste the New Sound, and Apa Mackerel Air the Sukusuku. Heaven Perfumed Long Grain Rice, Deliciously Tasty, Rush Energy Drink, Keep Up the Rush in You, Non Stop, Madar Powder Soap, It is Easier with Madar, The New Multi Purpose Detergent, Lydia Female Contraceptive, Lydia You Decide. Casapreco Carnival, the pleasure is yours. GTP New Style, more colors, more designs. Aloe Vera Cane, inspired by health for your natural goodness. Tinated Herbal Products, Ibusia and Chemfa. Absonic Auto Limited drives you. Try the surprise. Holy Trinity Spa and Health Farm, your holistic health sanctuary. And Second Image, be empowered to succeed. Now, we're going to the Ashanti region. Ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome Sika! For distinguished judges, ladies and gentlemen, it is evening, and as a descendant of the Ashanti region, we greet Majo, and you respond, Yeku, me mama Jo. A woman named Ayua used to visit the market wearing golden bracelets, called Sikahri near in my local dialect, Asante Chi. So she was named Ayua, hence my name, Mamia Kosia Yueska. I am from Kenton Crondon Senior, a student of Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. I belong to the Edwina clan. Edwina Tiamia Bradzi. Edwina Yakra Bwani Krame Jashen Enu. Upon Chani or Mekjoni Edwina. Me ya Chanfo Kwame Akuri Anana. Basically today, I want my audience to have a feel of the real life in the past centuries. The Ashanti region can be found in the southern part of Ghana. The Asantis constitutes the largest of the various subgroups of the Akans, and we trace our origin, partly from Bruno Manso and Techiman, present-day Bruno Ahafu region. As a united people, we started with a small Yoko clan and has been transformed into a powerful empire. Did you know that the name Asante came from the Akan expression Osa Inti, meaning because of war, but the wise man couldn't pronounce it and decided to call us Ashantis. We have towns like Kumewu, Asante Mampong, Asankari, Jakobu, and Asafo in Kumasi, the capital. Our empire is ruled by Otu Fose Tutu II. Otu Fose Tutu Otosu Mienuti Sike Jasu. Nana Yemu Amu, Yabu Amani Sekin Solomon. We are comfort to send a no say to two or the kind. It's in our quadrum for born man and say, You won't want any money, Johnny, a son, sir, what's up with you? Our queen mother, Nanefia could be said, Wampin. Oh, why, Hinny? Oh, what's so a daughter? Memo one more. You may have heard of our Cassie Day, a dear Cassie, and the Ukudan festivals. But I'm going to tell you about different festivals. We have a Pimso festival by the people of Kokofu. Mwanin caught by the people of Ofenso, and yes, Santua Festival by the people of Ejuso. Semi means any fa, let me in Sabonkum, not semi pejaminaya, na duana na Mr. Corum. I have already displayed to you the Adua dance. We have other dances like Kete, Sichi, Den Shiomu, which goes with a melodious atumpan, front on from, and petia drums. We enjoy our new cry as well. So who paid you and Papedia? Bro Santi Memu. We have local dishes like Akanchie, Edibi, Katimakawe, and Syria. <laughs> Our women are mostly traders. We grow cocoa, oranges out of Boise, and we are into timber. Oh, yes, we love traveling. So, who are brandy? I watch you pimping this abono fruit soa. No one wants Santini. We are not German burgers. For a relaxing 
weekend, take a tour to the Ashanti region. Come see our Achia Mountains, our decross symbols used for the cloth in Tiemu at Kwabre, and the shell for our poetry works and ceramics. The only prestigious university in the country has announced is Nimai region. Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, named after Ghana's first president, Osage for Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. Sail with me on this sea of adventure for more on the Ashanti region. I'm a member of the Chinu. Me damasi. Okay, so Sika from the Ashanti region, ladies and gentlemen, 1740 is a short code. Indeed, has a designer, is Sam's collection. Bees and accessories supplied by Wendy Latizan. Okay, Linda, what do you think? Sika, <laughs> um, I think your entry, your introduction was very good. Your whole presentation, we had everything in it: uh, history, food, trade, etc. Um, it was nice and brief, which was also very good. Congratulations! Congratulations! Fantastic comments coming from the judges. Sika is a name. The short code is 1740. Ladies and gentlemen, they say the best comes from the West. Let's move on to the Western region of Ghana. Let's welcome Araba. Your audience, judges, viewers at home, Michia Be, Meja, or Sabari Mako, and Tia Otto Sumienu, Se Benjamin Ahinoa. Benjamin Ahinoa free say, and San at Shemabo, Babonichino, no me or Hindaba, met him Papa and Ansu. Or Sarge for Dr. Kwamina anymore, Otto Sinsia. Samson, where to Meja when some Nisha Finitur so. Nana e ba akra oto sumienu onye ma wo fefo nana enyu bre mi chia o nana abona kuna adwa oto sumienu honorable paul evans edu honorable ejekum honorable anderson nana beka nana nom mpanyimfo mabajo bejimi anye no wa sebe mo abesho ma na ntuo na besho me mo polo tia menu si na besho mo bobi ya mikite ya I was seven in Albany, maybe I'm free. Yo, me free a poem and temu. I hear from the western region of Ghana. Second, it akade being my capital. My region is located in the southwestern part of the country and it covers 10% of the total landmass. Although my region has a, a small landmass, my region contributes 51% to the country's GDP. This shows that my region is well endowed when it comes to natural resources. To talk of to talk of gold, rubber, cocoa, and gold. Se pesika cocoa. Me am kona benfa netsi benfa mau. Brata ya mante mu na be pesika cocoa papa. To talk of rubber and many more. Five indigenous ethnic groups make up my region. These are the enzymes, the enhancers, the species. The Enchis and the Wasa. Wasa for the air, if you number papaya, second, I'll be on the bed, I'll be there, and I'll say, if you will, but you will know. The Enzimes are well noted for the Asheke Empire, which has now become an international delicacy. After enjoying this delicacy, they quench the access with the coconut water. The coconut water is rich in nutrients such as calcium, protein, fats, sugar, Carbohydrates and many other nutrients needed in the body. I have to phone so there before being phone from the bench in the media grow. Now since she phone she needs to phone this there. For phone now being funny, I bet they in room now. Me say say bush meat, but the other one of the air. Beneath your own papa papa. My region has 22 traditional councils out of 22 power months. This shows that we play a major role when it comes to culture and tradition. To talk of our food, our festivals, 
the way we talk, even the way we walk, the way we dress, and many more. Kundum is one of the popular festivals celebrated in Ghana and is from my region. It's celebrated by the, by the people of Ahanta and Nzima during the months of August and September. But we do also celebrate festivals such as the Akwentukesi Festival, the Echapasu Festival, and the Odra Festival. We perform the Aburuyo Dance, the Sumpua Dance, the Kotoje Dance, Asafo, and Mama Dance. The people of Asam Mimfi perform the Abruyo dance as they lift their hands up to the sky and down to the earth to show appreciation to the gods. And when they wave their hands up in the skies to say Afishapo. <laughs> Tourism is the backbone of many nations in the world now. But when it comes to Ghana, look no further than the Western region. The Nzulenzu. The only river on water where normal life goes on is in my region. Just imagine how a two-year-old child swims with pride, confidence, and skills. The first president of the Republic of Ghana, Osage Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, was from my region. And many believe that his grave, I mean his original grave is in Greater Accra, but no. The original grave of Osage Dr. Kwame Nkrumah is in my region. The biggest rubber and palm nut plantation is in my region. The first gas processing plant is in my region. Not to talk of our forts and our lovely beaches, like the Buzia Beach Resort, the African Beach, and the Victoria Beach. But did you know that the, that the Ankasa Nature Reserve is in my region? The Bia National Park, the Domama Rock Shrine, the Akatechie, the Akatechie Crocodile Pond. My region boast of good musicians. Western region, the Oyo City, the Twin City, the Orokodo Rila City has a lot of things in, in stock for you. So why don't you join me on a trip to the Western region? Western region day, Yawadoye, Wafam Araba, Medjabase. Thank you. Were you referring to Castro or Asamwajan? I was referring to Castro. Oh, to Castro, okay. Uncle Dave, what do you think? Yes, uh, Araba, I think you know your region very well. You have a very good understanding of your region. Uh, all you need to do is just take your time to articulate. You know, you, I think you were rushing through your speech. And so that, you know, halted you a couple of times. But... That notwithstanding, I think you, you, you delivered very well. You knew the region, the demographics, the geography, the history. And I liked your kundum steps when you were you know, greeting us. I think uh, you did fine for a first outing. That was good. Congratulations. Fantastic comments coming from uh, Uncle David Donto. Welcome back. This is Ghana's most beautiful season nine. Let me welcome you. Indeed, we have two more to go. We're moving. I'd like to up north, the northern region. Ladies and gentlemen. Let's welcome Aisha.
you all. The response to Asansa is Awo. Asansa. Thank you. Asansa means you are all welcome. Yagbonra, Yana, Bimbilana, Nayerna, Burankike, Buruchana, Napana, Minibike, the Amateur. I know one would be wondering why I was lying down to breathe. In my region, we lie down to breathe chiefs, which I just did. I know without telling you, where I'm coming from, you would have a slight idea. Because of how beautiful and smooth my skin is, the way I'm dressed and the way I'm talking, gently and calmly, which shows a sign of respect in my region. I come from the region which the president of Ghana comes from, His Excellency John Dramani Mahama. region than the northern region of Ghana, the largest region of Ghana. We have four paramount chiefs in my region, namely the Yagbonra from Damango, the Yana from Yendi, the Bimbilana from Bimbila, and the Nairna from Nairgo. Some of the ethnic groups in my region are Mole Dabanis, Mamprusis, Nanumbes, Kokombes, and of course Gonjes. In which I'm proud to let you all know that I am the Eruche of the Gonja land tonight. Eruche, which means Queen Mother. When Ghanaians are talking about tourist attraction, my region is not left out. We have many tourist attractions, but tonight I'll be telling you just a few. The Mole National Park, the Nile Defense Wall in Gambaga, the war which has been in existence since the 16th century. The mythical stone in Larbanga. The stone that if moved, if, if moved, sorry, it finds its way back to its position. Yes! Because of this, road constructions that are supposed to be constructed there has been constructed elsewhere. Talk of the Salaga slave trade market. Yes! Ten miles before you get to the Salaga slave trade market is a place we call Wankambaya. Say Wankambaya. Wankambaya. Yes. Which means where slaves take their bath. Right in front of the slave market is a big baobab tree. That is where slaves were tied and chained and sold out. But sometimes they were being exchanged with gunpowder, gold, cowries, and many more. You know how significant and important festivals are to the people of Ghana. That is the same way people from my region cherish festivals. We have many festivals, but tonight I'll be telling you just a few. Talk of the Gangan Festival, the Damba Festival, the Jintin Festival, which is the Guinea Fowl Festival. When it gets to the Jintin Festival, men surprise their in-laws with a male Guinea Fowl. Yes! to let them know how happy they are for giving their daughters to them to marry. When it gets to this festival, people like my father sit home and relax because his house is filled with beautiful women, just like myself. The Damba Festival. The Damba Festival is celebrated to mark the birth and naming ceremony of the Prophet Muhammad. When it gets to this festival, we wear our best clothes, made from cotton, which is made in Daboya. Men wear fugu, and women dress just like me. We come together to make merry and have fun. The ceremony does not end there alone, without us eating our local and sweet meal, which is kude and binwulsa. Yes. Kude, which is popularly known as suonzafi or tizet. And in Binuulsa is dry okra soup. But 
at the festival, we share Kudigbong. Yes, which means big CZ. It shows that people who are coming from near and far, visitors, everyone will get some to eat and experience and feel how sweet and rich our meal is. As said by Gonjes, if you can't join, you want to feel content, if you should not share. I make it actual now. Yes. If you fetch water into your mouth and it keeps long, it turns into saliva. So I want you all to come with me to the northern region of Ghana, where I will exhibit our rich and beautiful culture to you. Thank you all. Asam Kushu. So this is the name 1740 is a short code. Linda, what do you think? I think Aisha, Aisha did well. Your intro and your demonstration of the greeting was very good. In fact, you're the only one who did that. That was very good. <laughs> Apart from that, you gave us all the information we will need to want to visit the northern region. Keep it up. You did a good job. So Aisha is the day 1740 is a short code. Ladies and gentlemen, you get to keep her in the house if you vote for her. Okay. Coming from the Eastern region, let us welcome Afariwa! Due to the cosmopolitan nature of the Eastern region, you realize that I greeted you all in several languages. The Eastern region of Ghana is a host of five geographical features, namely the Krobos, the Achims, the Ekrapim and Akwemuman, the Guans, and the people of Kweu. Thank you very much. Kweu, where I hail from, specifically Abetifi, but had my childhood days in a small village called Obusmano, located in Afram Plains. Afariwanye, Afariwan, me bomra nese okeseku obwe jain. Menono, this evening, relax as I release and review treasures and assets that has been hidden in my region. My regional capital is called Koforidia. Na Koforidia fodye, it is for this reason that the bead factory and bead market has been situated in Koforidia. People troop in from different areas, far and near, to get different assortments and varieties of beads. Viochehene, Osajifu Amwetio for Ipeni. Nene noe ano ban sasraku Enyi ne benku mhine oku abebio Ache mfwe si edu ajeman Nana ama amenua These are some prominent chiefs And queen mother of my region Let me hasten to 
Let me hasten to add that my region also hosts some descendants from the Ashanti Kingdom. Let me use this great opportunity to extend my deepest condolence to the entire people of the Eastern region and to the Kriapim on their great loss of the paramount chief, Odenehu Adodankwa III. When it comes to sacred days, we have the Awukudae and Akwesidae, and for festivals, we celebrate Kloyom Siklimi, Ojura, Ohum, and the famous Easter celebrations that has been dubbed by Ghanaians as Kwewo Kwewo. The Eastern region is the hub of agriculture, and for that matter, the food basket of this nation. With markets such as in Ketepa, Mame Krobo, in Koko, trust us to get your Krobonko, Ameko, Nyadua, Apatram, in Katie, Jene, Banche, Bordie, Koko, Bayure, Ataji, and in Yakika Hunina. For our natural reserves, thank you. For our natural reserves, it is just mind blowing. My region boasts of the precious diamond, bauxite, fine sand, and clay for poultry. And we boast of our natural thick green forest that is generating thorns of millions into our economy. We produce Odum, Wawa, Sapele, Ompewe, Naopedie. Ladies and gentlemen, relax in your seats, but fetch your calabashes with me. Let us quench our thirst with the beautiful water of Okuabna waterfalls from Bukruwa. Otherwise, join me. Let us climb our mountains on our tikos, in our G-wagons, or on our sprinter buses. Otherwise, join me as we cruise on our ferry or pantu on the beautiful Afram and Obosum rivers. If the four mentioned doesn't work for you, then join hands with me as we sit under the great giant peculiar baobab tree under Sonia Dikitata, which is located at Oda, and let us share thoughts and ideas on how to redefine beauty to promote national unity. Thank you. It can be paid. Thank you. Okay, okay. <laughs> wow. So how far away is the name? The short code is 1740. Okay. We have heard from the crowd. Now let's hear from our judges. Have a good day. You are such a lady. I think um, you have a very rich voice for radio. You be a, you make a very good news reader. Uh, also, I think you 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 are quite erudite about your region. You know your region very well, very very well. Um, Whoever taught you to smile has done you wonderful. You have a very infectious smile. Keep it up. I think you did so well. Congratulations. Okay, so great comments coming from Uncle Dave. Indeed, you have heard from our judges. You have heard from our contestants. We have seen contestants come on this platform and move on in life. Uncle Dave has been able to unearth somebody becoming a radio presenter later in life. Whether she's going to pursue it or not, that's up to her. But you would have to keep her in the house to make her dream a reality. We're going to go for a short commercial break.
Hi, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ghana's most beautiful redefining beauty to promote national unity. Indeed, this is season nine. Who's going to take it? It starts from here. Our judges are going to tell us who the most eloquent is, who spoke best tonight. Let me invite all the ladies on stage. Shall we come on stage, ladies, in no particular order? Linda, first of all, what were you looking out for? Uh, we were looking for somebody who was able to articulate. Um, you could have all your facts in your head if you're not able to articulate. Sorry. You know, so we're looking at somebody who could engage our attention. We were watching. We were listening. You know, we enjoyed it. That's what we were looking out for. And a number of them impressed us, to be frank. Um, AC from Central Region did very well. Afarua from Eastern Region did well. Quite, quite, quite. Let's listen to our judges, please. But the one who topped it for us was Amma from the Bronga Hafu region. So who is your winner for eloquence? Amma, Bronga Hafu Amma from the Bronga Hafu region gets to win it. Uh, may I invite Nana Amma Amanua? And thank you so very much, Nana Amma Amanua, Queen Mother of Abetifi. Of course, and thank you to our judges, the and Jebra. These are your ladies for you. Until next week, my name is Gideon Ayukwe. We're out of here. Canada's Assemble takes over from us. Good night. <laughs>